Good morning, and it's day two of our Prague adventure. We've just got up now. We're going to nip down. We're going to get some breakfast, um, and then we're going to see where day it takes us. I'm sure there's a bit of an itinerary involved somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> first breakfast in what hotel at the Eingate Hotel and um, that was booked as part of our booking and I'm really impressed. Yeah the breakfast were really nice actually like they, they obviously they got the cooked breakfast on the fruit and selection weren't that great but they got loads of pastries things like that yeah, it, it was nice. cut all the fruit and it kind of dried out so I skipped on that but maybe that might be better on another day where well, I'm gonna try it um probably tomorrow. The cooked breakfast was nice though, and the old breads were nice and stuff like that. So yeah, right, good. We've had a bright fill though. Yeah, like... I'm super full. I'm ready for the day. We're gonna get ready, and we're gonna go and explore Prague in the daytime. So off we are into Prague in the daylight. It looks very different to last night. Yeah, it really it's does. It's freezing cold. I'm not gonna lie, but this town is beautiful. It's there's loads of little alleyways for you to walk down. Hundreds of shops. Um, every way you turn, it is just beautiful. Yeah, there's like all, it's all cobbled streets. It's got like a really, really old feel to it, which I suppose it should do. But yeah, it's, uh, it's stunning here. Even the like pathways are tiled and gorgeous. So we're gonna try and hit some of the main features, I'm gonna say, of Prague, like the iconic locations. Another proper tourists. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the Church of St Giles. It has got a proper Czech name, but we've given up trying to pronounce that, so we found its English term. If there is one thing I love, it's churches and religious buildings and this does not disappoint how beautiful is this and it carries on right to the ceiling that is just unbelievable we're walking back along the streets and there is like just a random guy dangling by his neck I'm just going to see him in. Oh no, he's, oh, he's, he's not. He's holding on. He's holding on. How cool. Hey, Is that? So. We've oh, only found a second hand shop. Yeah, we are. <gasps> Oh, do I, do I not? Do I not? <laughs> you can't get it home. <laughs> ah, I can't. I've got room in my bag. I could. I could. <gasps> Literally, everywhere I'm looking, it's just stunning. Like, this as a city is as gorgeous as Barcelona. I am loving it. So, walking around this road, and here is the National Theatre. I'm going to zoom in and I'm gonna say look. That do it justice. This statues all over it it's just unreal it's like it's got a glass roof as well or glass dome we, we've not walked far into prague and every building is just architecturally beautiful and the detail and like there's a building in front of me look at that that we've not yeah. even seen it's look at this every building is a standing and they're just italian restaurants it's So off we go, we are going across Legion Bridge and just down from it is the Charles's Bridge. So right over there is Charles's Bridge and we're going to go over that later on and we're going to go over Legion Bridge now which is beautiful 
and Oliver's pouting because I've actually recorded and wanting to see something and he's just not getting his own way and it's not all about him. No. Stop being so mardy. No. Let's say there's an off shot that goes into the middle of the like little river and there's like a little lift that just goes up and down to it. I really like that. Well, it's like a little island under a bridge. Uh, it's quite cool actually. It's really cool. Oh my god. I want to touch one, but is it dangerous? I want to touch one. I want to take one of them. <gasps> that is so cool. What are they? Oh my god. Oh my god. They are super tame. Hello. Hi. I bet you're cold. Oh, hello. I wonder what they are. Oh my god, I'm going to have to touch one. I can't, I can't no, let you touch them. my face. But I want to touch one. Oh, there's a big one. Oh my god, look, it's just swimming there. Oh. Something clean. What's it doing, Leanne? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they look like they've got super, super, super massive teeth. So Oliver's banned me from touching one. Um, they have got super massive teeth that are bright orange. They look like they're they a bit like, radioactive. They look like they've just been sucking on someone's blood. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure if I'm that Would defiant it? or not. What are they? It's coming, it's coming back. Oh, go on then. Do you know what I'm doing tomorrow? Bringing some sausage. Oil. I'm going to find out what they are, what they eat, and we're bringing some tomorrow. That is what we're doing. And I'm going to feed whatever it is these are. <laughs> don't you think you should find out what they are first? I'm going to, and I'm going to find out what the diet is. I don't know if they're vegetarian. They don't look very vegetarian to me, do you? No, they don't. But we have sausage and bacon at breakfast and fruit. So we're coming back. We are coming back. So I've just Googled it, and these are called Nutria. Yes. I think that's how you say it. And they're just a large river rat, but they're super cool. <laughs> I'm not sure I should be feeding them there tomorrow. <laughs> and this is Charles's Bridge and we are in Prague and we've not even been on it yet. So we've walked right to the other side and we've made it and these are the statues and memorial of the survivors of the communist era. Um, they're like bronze statues of, of a guy walking up steps and as they go up parts of them miss the light till the end up there and um, there's hardly anybody left and um, they're pretty cool we wish we'd seen these in the evening all lit up yeah i think i i don't really know what it's meant to signify but i don't know how to word what i think it's meant to signify but yeah it's cool so we walked up here to be outside of this fountain and there's a beautiful building here is it the fountain of what justice or freedom what? freedom one at two but it's not on so we're gonna move on we are at the statue of jacob orbs 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 don't you pronounce it my pronunciation of words is just absolutely horrendous i'm not good at languages and i don't claim to be so this is a bridge that begins with J and that's about as much as you're getting from me. So we're just going to head over this bridge and we are going to the dancing house, which I can see already. It looks super cool. And here we are at the dancing house. It's just there. How cool is that? We've just seen there's like a cafe at the bottom, a bar at the top, and then there's people stood up here and we are ready for a drink, a cup of tea or coffee. So we're going to venture inside and see whether it's extortionate and go and have a coffee no, in there. I bet it is, but Worth it. when in Rome or Prague. All right, back up again. Oliver's gone to the toilet and we are heading back out. Yeah. So Cyril, 
Grand Methodist Cathedral. That's what it is. <laughs> Dart around, we're finding loads of these like hanging statues. This one's a lady with an umbrella. We decided to come in to have a look around the Prague shopping centre. We're going to have a look to see if we can find a supermarket. We've just been gauging there's food options um, and we're just going to have a wonder and explore. That means where we're going. A little basket. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. We've done our shopping, got ourselves some snacks and things to eat and some water so we're going to pay for these, see whether or not we've worked it out or not and see how much this has cost us and then we're heading back. So we've just come out of the shop now and we've, we've unloaded and done so we're going to head back to the room and we're going to have a cup of tea, offload of stuff and then head back out I think and do a bit more sightseeing. This is becoming a little bit of us because everywhere we go this always always happens no matter where we are so off i go on our search for the rotating head and lo and behold if you can see it's behind a canvas and it's taking a break just as we're in prague what a surprise come to walk back to our hotel and a little outdoor market's on how super cute We've just walked through some side streets on our way back, like back there, and we've just opened up right into the centre, which... It's absolutely unreal. In the daytime, it's amazing! Oh, I just love Prague. I know I keep saying it, but... Wow, it's just crazy. And this is what we have got from our Czech supermarket shop. We've got to some water. We're really going to have to remember to take a bag out with us because we keep having to buy those. But we've got some pastries, some bread. Oliver's bought a bottle of wine, which apparently alcohol is really cheap. Um, some orange dilute. Some biscuits to try with our tea. And some chocolate biscuits. Uh, that's the brand of supermarket. So that must be their own make. Yeah, it feels like I have a Yeah. So then we got some different crisps to have. Oh, why did you buy two lots of bloody meat? So you bought two lots of meat because he's a greedy bum. Um, some different like chocolatey biscuity <laughs> kind of things to try. And then Oliver got a slice of meaty pizza. We are going to have a cup of tea and a relax and get a warm and then we're heading back out for the evening. <laughs> 